Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure. I'm out with Paige and Lucy and we're going winter camping for five days. We'll be staying in our snow trekker hot tent. Come along for this adventure. We've reached the first obstacle of this trip. We need to cross this creek and it's been a very mild winter. And now we have this open water here. It's very shallow. We're gonna put some logs on the side here, take the bags off of the toboggans and then walk them across one at a time. I think I might have wet feet tonight. That's a sketchy looking bridge. <laughs> now do that, I don't know, 10 more times. We're just getting started and it's already an adventure. We successfully made it all across. We've restrapped everything down to our toboggans and we're just having a bite to eat. It's all right, it took a bit of time and effort. But we still have a lot of daylight, so I think we're good, eh? Ah, we've reached the most challenging portion of our route probably. We have this big hill. Continues up that way it looks like, but we got a big tree in the way. Paige's toboggan is way down there, bottom. And then, mine's there, and we gotta keep making our way up to the top. We're losing our daylight here, and we're lost in the woods. Not really, but we're off the uh, trail we were kind of following, on our map anyways. But we've found this old logging road. Judging by my GPS, we should be able to get back on the trail we wanted to be on up ahead here. But we still have a few hundred meters through this thick bush. How's it going? Good, we just ate some cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we're happy about that, eh, Lucy? Tough going up that hill. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah. I don't know if that was the worst hill we've ever pulled our toboggans up, <laughs> but it might be. It's cold <laughs> and windy. You can see this is what we're, we came up. Oh. A very obvious road, right? And we're going that way. Super obvious. <laughs> Just straight through there. We've made it to the road, or trail, whatever you want, I want to call it. No one's been down here, it's fresh. And this is where we came from. Through the bush. <laughs> Our trail, up that way. Probably can't see it, but. It's because there wasn't really a trail. Old logger road. Yeah, now we have about a kilometer down this way. We're all cozy in the tent here. We just finished dinner and we're preparing for bed. That was a big day. We're both kind of wrecked right now. <laughs> it was hard. I'm very ready for bed. decided to stay at this lake for another night so we enjoyed a lazy morning here in the hot tent made some good food and now we're ready to get out there and enjoy this sunny bluebird day this beautiful little lake and there's clearly signs that people have been uh, ice fishing here makes sense there's brook trout in here um, so we've come out to this point right here off of it and there's evidence of holes right here 
So we're gonna try our luck here first, drill a few holes. Looks like the other main spot is at the other end of the lake where there's a creek inflow. So we could try over there as well. Paige is headed back to the tent. It's just a little chilly out here. It's definitely a brisker day than our first day of this trip. It's probably at least around minus 10 right now, I'd say. So you're probably not gonna believe me, but I just actually caught a little brook trout. I pulled it out of the hole. It came off this little Swedish pimple, silver, and then slipped right back down the hole. I can't believe it. <laughs> Right before I'm about to go in, I lose a fish. It took my worm, and I didn't get it on camera. No more fish to report. I got that one and only. Well, I'm counting it anyways. Need to get some firewood because there's absolutely none in the tent. And it's a lot easier to find a nice big dead standing tree before dark. Hope you enjoyed your wine, Paige. Because you said you were going to cut this stuff, right? <laughs> what is it? I got uh, some of this premium ironwood. Oh my gosh. It'll burn nice and hot, but it will take forever to saw through. Perfect. Yeah. Well should uh, be good for cooking pizza. I'll cut some too. He gave me the smallest piece. Thank you. Olive oil, red pepper flakes, rosemary, garlic, and orange peel. Spicy olives. We're gonna try making pizza on trip for the first time. And I'm excited and hoping it's gonna work out, but we'll see. We do it a lot at home, so we're gonna try this in the Dutch oven. I'm starving, so it better work because we don't have a backup plan. <laughs> First one's about to go down. Stretch out the dough. I think it's going to be a thick crust. Keeping it simple. Pepperoni pizza. Ooh, that Dutch oven's nice and hot right now. That looks so good already. Uh, oh jeez, there we go. A mason jar ring in there to keep the pan raised off the bottom. All right. There goes nothing. Bye bye. Fingers crossed. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? It burns. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Too hot on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes, and it's. Looking pretty good. I don't know why. I guess the stove's uneven, so all the cheese slid off that way. The <laughs> golden brown underneath. Yeah. The cheese is. And all the pepperonis. Sliding over. Yeah, a little bit. Do you need my gloves? Got it. Okay. Woo! Pizza in the hot tent. I think it was a success. Mmm, that's really good. Wow. Well, we have more to make. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. No, it's perfect. 
Wow. Tastes pretty good to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we've had a change of plans. We're gonna stay here today instead of uh, trying to find that other lake. It was a rough night. Um, Lucy woke up around 3 a.m. and started moving, which is weird because she usually sleeps through the night and doesn't get up, but I think she kind of peed. Um, and so I took her out and we came back in and she tried to settle. And then shortly after that, she got up and puked. <laughs> so she had a rough night. I had a rough night and I'm just not feeling the adventure today of trying to trek to another backcountry lake. That puke, where was it? Oh, <laughs> right beside me. Yeah. I cleaned most of it up as well as I could at 3 a.m. in the morning. I'll clean it later. Yeah. Right now I just need coffee. She's learning. Keto oatmeal. Nut and seed based cereal. I've never had it before. We'll see. Lots of calories. Uh, a third of a cup is 230. So, yeah. Decent. Yeah. High protein, high fat. Lucy, what are you doing? What are you doing there? I'm not really sure <laughs> what this is. I'm at the other end of the lake. Yesterday I was fishing over there, but today I've come down here and you can see around me here, there's like a stick here. Clearly someone's been fishing in this area. So I'm gonna pop a few holes here, fish this area and see if this is the right spot to be fishing on this lake. Lines are in the water. We're fishing. The storm has started. The forecast before coming was saying five to ten centimeters. That'd be nice. We need it. Just finished a snacky lunch here in the hot tent. And now I'm just relaxing with Lucy. She's down here and sleeping. Because we're not moving, we're just doing some maintenance to our tent interior. So we're drying the sleep bags right now. What else? We had to re-level the stove because all the snow around the stove melted. I'm also gonna have to shovel out some of the ash from the stove because it's really full right now. Some dishes to do. We're charging up our headlamps, you know, normal camp chores. And the snow is coming down, starting to coat this tent because the stove's almost completely out. How's it going out there? Either this saw is really dull or this wood's just really hard and I suck. <laughs> Because I'm struggling. The that blade. blade is getting dull. Yeah, it keeps binding in the log and I can't find a good place to saw it. I kind of need you or something. In the pot so far I have shallots, onions, carrots, butter, mushrooms, and then I added tomato paste, Worcestershire, soy sauce. Next, I'm going to add some lentils, veggie bouillon cube, and some water to cover it all. And I almost forgot some fresh thyme and rosemary. The stew is finished. It was on for about an hour while Alec was outside cutting up wood. I'm just going to make some instant mashed potatoes, and then we'll be ready to eat. Oh, that might be pretty good. Let's eat. Lucy's hiding. There she is. 
There we go. Let's see where it's like. Yes. That's good. Oh, that's really good. Sticky buns. Mouth watering. This is breakfast. <laughs> mm, that's so caramelly. I pre made them at home and then froze them and then let them rise by the fire for a little while and threw them in the Dutch oven. It's so good. Mm hmm. <laughs> With coffee. Oh, yeah. We're almost done here. That's good. Oh yeah. We gotta do this again. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Lizzie. Hi. <laughs> kind of day. The sun's popping in and out of the sky and it was snowing off and on. It seems like maybe now the snow's starting to let up. Hello. I'm ice fishing again. <laughs> hoping to catch something. This is where I caught that one fish the second day. So I'm back here on the edge of this point, soaking in the last of the sun. And yeah, just enjoying time on the lake. Let's see, you like that little piece of worm? It's weird that you don't want to rub in it. I'm getting cold. Back to the tent. That's hot. Wow. Golden. Mm-hmm. Nice fluffy crust. The full pizza belly.
just made it up this first big hill off the lake and now we're gonna follow this trail through the woods and we're gonna take a slightly different route and then that way we can avoid that uh, creek where we had to unload everything. It'll involve going through another marsh, but uh, yeah, that'll be part of the fun for today. We're out on the marsh now. We had to do some bushwhacking to get here, but the travel should be a lot easier uh, for the rest of the day, which it's getting pretty short. <laughs> it was a really good trip. It was planned to be a hard one. It ended up being a lazy one, but it was really nice. Uh, we had some good food. We were on a nice, cute little lake, and we were just enjoying our time being out in winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.